So my name's Kareem, and I get to talk about the brains. Now, this is the really exciting part. This is where the full capability of Microsoft as a company all comes together. The engineers on our team get to work with top leading experts around the world in Microsoft research in fields such as computer vision, machine learning, speech recognition, facial recognition, digital signal processing, and we harness all that creative energy and innovation, combine it with the production engineering know-how on our team, and combine it into the platform that what you're about to see today. I'll point out the anatomical correctness. His hips are in the correct location. He has uh, multiple spine joints. He has true shoulders and collarbones, multiple joints in his head and neck. So he can bend over, he can bend forward, he can move his head, shrug his shoulders. So, you know, we're connected. The first version was really about understanding gross human motion. We have true human understanding here and fidelity of expression as he moves around. Another key advancement I'd like to point out is the new joints we've added in the hands. We have joints that represent tip of hand and the thumb. So as Scott is opening and closing his hands, you can see it being represented on screen. The skeleton is a great representation of the various bones and how they're connected together. But we took it a step further and started with orientation. Now this is Blockman, as a team calls him. And what Blockman represents is the actual orientation of Scott's body as he's moving in 3D space. As he rotates his hands and his arms and his legs, you can see that block man is, you know, very accurately depicting what he's doing. So we're kind of getting beyond the joints. We have the actual rotations that his joints are experiencing. He can even draw small nose circles in the air, and we can see his head rotating on block man in line with what it is that Scott's doing. Now, now I'm a pretty tall guy. I'm six foot four, and my skeleton only weighs eight pounds. If you really want to understand what's going on with the human, you need to understand and describe what's going on with the muscles, the forces, the torques. So that's our intro into Muscle Man. So Muscle Man is a real-time human-based physics model applied on top of our next generation skeleton and our high-resolution depth map. Uh, the, what the colors represent is green equals no force, and then the highest intensity red is the largest level of force. So as you see, as Scott kind of shifts his weight between one leg and the next, as he lifts a foot, you can see the red disc representing the greater force you know, on the floor being exerted. You can see changes in his core and in his legs. If I can get Scott to do a little bit of a squat for me. All right, go ahead and hold it. Like he's feeling it in his legs and you can see it on the screen. Um, you know, normally I make him do that for a long time, but I'll go easy on him today. Um, if we get Scott to jump up in the air as high as he can, you'll see that his body goes all green. You know, when you're in the air, obviously there's no force being felt. And when he hits the ground, you can see those red impact points. You know, beyond just understanding the forces in his muscles, we're able to estimate, you know, mass and velocity in the force of something like a punch. Give me a little jab. As you can see, the nice little white circles that represent how much he's exerting. Now really put your back into it and shift your weight. So look at the size of that circle. So we're you know, accurately calculating how much force he's exerting. You can see the weight shifting from his bat leg to his front. You can see his core tightening up, and you can see the representation on screen. So you know, with these three things combined, you have a fantastic understanding of what's happening with the human body. But as any good trainer will tell you, this information is necessary, but it's not enough. You need one more thing. You need heart rate. So what we have here is a real-time tech technology that is actually detecting the pulse in Scott's face. We're using our uh, high-definition color feed and our active IR feed to look for subtle variations in both color and intensity in the skin of his face. They're imperceptible to the human eye, but you know our Kinect sensor and the Xbox One hardware is able to pick it up. We're literally reading the pulse in his face. Pretty amazing stuff. You know, fantastic for exercise scenarios or for measuring exertion. Uh, lots of possibilities.